I finished the IB program a couple weeks ago, so I'm officially finished with high school, which means I'm going to post-secondary. However, my 12-year free trial of school had ended, so I needed to find a way to earn money quick. Crypto has been all the rage over the internet for the past few years, and with the price of Bitcoin being at its all-time low, I just had to seize this opportunity. Although I don't have specialized hardware for mining, I do have an amazing mining software, so I booted up Minecraft and got started. The goal of this project is to use an unmodified version of the game, using the vanilla 1.16.5 version. That means the entire mining process will work with only Minecraft commands. I could make the entire thing in command blocks, but after the 1.12 update, the entire map making community decided to ditch command blocks in favor of functions, which are literally command blocks but you write them in a text file, which makes it much easier to write and maintain. Alright, but how do you communicate with the Bitcoin network, you may ask? Minecraft unfortunately was not built with internet connection in mind, so we're going to have to use a middleman that talks with the Bitcoin network and the Minecraft client. So we're going to use Python, because who doesn't love Python? Before you head down to the comments and say that I didn't actually build a miner in vanilla Minecraft, don't worry, all the actual Bitcoin mining happens inside the game. Python is just there to tell Minecraft what to mine. Uh, to get data out of Minecraft, we can simply get the Python program to read the output logs of Minecraft. Minecraft saves a log of server and client side events inside your .minecraft folder, which you can use to tell our Python program that we have successfully mined a Bitcoin block. To get data into Minecraft, we can write commands into a function that I've set to load every time I reload the functions using the slash reload command. Then we can get Python to type slash reload into the game to get Minecraft to receive the new block info. How does Bitcoin mining work though? The actual algorithm for mining Bitcoin is very simple. You first get some Bitcoin data, add 4 bytes of a nonce, and apply SHA-256 to it twice. SHA-256 is a cryptographic hash function which takes in an input and spits out an output that looks completely random. And as far as we know, there's no way to look at the output and figure out what the input should be. Then we check how many zeros there are in front of the hashed output in binary. If there aren't enough zeros, add 1 to the nonce and try again. If there are, we submit our data to the Bitcoin blockchain and receive 6.25 bitcoins. If you want to learn more about the Bitcoin mining process, I highly recommend the video by 3blue1brown, which will be linked in the description. The mining function in Minecraft will be created using the slash data command in Minecraft. For those outside of the technical Minecraft map making community, you may have heard of people making Minecraft computers using redstone or using the slash scoreboard command to store numbers. If redstone is the father of the slash scoreboard command, the slash data command is the cool new kid that rolled into the block. For programmers, the slash data command can be used to create a list that for all intents and purposes just works like a queue. Of course, no one has ever thought of writing a SHA-256 algorithm using Minecraft commands, because why would you ever? So I had the great honor of spending my weekend writing and debugging using Wikipedia and YouTube. By the way, these two lines of pseudocode, which I was able to write in less than 10 lines of C++, took like 100 lines of code in Minecraft. Programming in Minecraft is not fun when you're trying to make it do weird stuff. Anyways, after hours of painstaking debugging, I finally had a SHA-256 algorithm that would work in Minecraft. That was the hard part. Now I could quickly write a function to SHA-256 and input twice, then verify that the first n bits of an output hash are all zeros. Before mining, first you need to run a Bitcoin node. This took me a few days to download, so if you want to do it, well, you should probably do this step first. Initially, I tried to use PyMiner to communicate with the Bitcoin network, but I couldn't figure out how to use it, so I assumed it was broken and looked for alternatives. A while ago, I watched a video of someone turning their Game Boy into a Bitcoin miner, which is where I got a lot of inspiration for this video. I saw that they used NTGBT miner, which seemed to work and did what I wanted, so I forked the code and replaced the mining portion of the code with my own code to communicate with Minecraft. With this, Minecraft would be given a block data to mine, and when we successfully mine a block, it would announce it to the Bitcoin network. So now it's time to mine bitcoins. Operation of this is quite simple. After connecting the NTGBT miner to the Bitcoin node and launching the program, opening the chat window in Minecraft and pressing escape, uh, the new function will be loaded and the mining will commence. I've even added a cute little mining animation so you can see that the program didn't crash. On the right, you can see the current nonce and how many zeros we need to successfully mine a block. I wasn't too sure if I did the math right for the target value, but as my math teacher used to say, Close enough is good enough. You can see how fast the hashing is by pressing F3 and checking how many milliseconds there are between ticks. Currently it's at 900 milliseconds, which means we're hashing per 0.9 seconds, or 1.11 hashes per second. 
You can see that the game is working hard by spawning a mob, which will move as if it was in 2B2T during peak hours. Some modern day ASIC miners apparently can hash 100 trillion times a second. Compared to our 1.11 hashes per second, for the price of only one Minecraft account, I don't think we're doing too bad at all, only off by a factor of a couple trillion. As of when this video was made, to mine a bitcoin, you need a few quadrillion hashes, which means that if I leave this program running, I would have successfully mined a bitcoin just in time for the collapse of our solar system. Perhaps then, the housing market in Canada would return back to the early 2010 levels. Of course, I'm impatient and can't wait for the disintegration of the universe, so I disconnected my Minecraft instance with the Bitcoin network and changed the target to a much smaller number. And voila! If you haven't caught on yet, Bitcoin mining in Minecraft is anything but profitable. I had fun working on this project. I've been interested in cryptocurrencies for a while now and wanted to learn more about it, but because school was sucking up so much of my time, I unfortunately didn't have time to work on a project like this. It was pretty fun learning more about the workings of Bitcoin, and perhaps this video interested you or helped you learn more about Bitcoin. I will share all the code I used for the project in the description, in addition to all the resources I have used and slash or found helpful. As well, I will share some links to some channels that you may enjoy if you want to learn more about the blockchain or Minecraft command. I'll hopefully release more fun projects in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.